Hi, we've got Chris here from Sydney Morning Herald at SCG. And कुछ ही समय में start होने वाला है the first ODI between India and Australia. Right? Let's see what is his take on how well is the Australian team prepared for their first face-off with Indian team today at SCG. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, they're prepared a little bit like the Indians. Uh, a lot of them have been stuck in a in a hotel room out at Sydney Olympic Park, the old Olympic uh, venue, about half an hour from here. But some of them have been training here in, the, in recent days as well. It's been a long time coming since we've had men's international cricket back in Australia and back in Sydney. The last time was uh, in early March, uh, a, a match here against New Zealand with, uh, with no crowd at all at the start of the, the pandemic. So it's quite exciting. There's going to be a crowd of uh, half capacity, about 23,000 here today. And I think it's really exciting that we've got the limited overs portion starting for the test matches. Unusual compared to how it usually happens, but it gives us a taste of, of what's to come this summer. And quickly, what do you think on, because Australia just played um, ODI series with England, and they performed very well, but India has only played IPL. So is that going to be a drawback, and it can be a favour, a benefit for Australian team uh, in this series? Yeah, yeah, look, I think it's, it's handy, but it's, it's a little while ago. It's a couple of months ago in September. And I guess Australia's key players have been exactly where India have been in, in Dubai at the IPL. I think India's white ball credentials are, are pretty well established, aren't they? So I don't necessarily think it gives them a great deal of an advantage, although Australia are, are an improving side uh, in white ball cricket, beating the world champions on their home soil. is certainly a nice way to, to come into this series, even if it was a couple of months ago. Well, it should. It should um, make Australia, you know, harder to beat. But uh, they'll be careful that, that that India still have plenty of good players. They're they're not going to take India lightly. Um, I think what it does do, though, is put a lot of emphasis on the result in the first Test match in Adelaide uh, in about a month's time, or less than a month's time now, actually. You would think that if Australia win that Test match, it's going to be difficult for, for, for India for the rest of the tour. Uh, you showed Sharma, we see, not coming out as well, another, another blow. So, look, it's, it's clearly, it's, I don't think it's a good thing, isn't it? He's put his family first and his wife first. And, you know, I, I think whatever happens, 